Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw this crystal in Adobe Illustrator CC. I'm going to show you how to draw some of the little added effects to make it help pop, but uh, it's pretty simple. Let's get started. We're going to begin by going to our rectangle tool right here, clicking and holding and switching to the polygon tool. Make one click in the middle of your artboard and make sure that you have six sides selected and a radius of 50, although that doesn't matter. Press OK. Good. Now we're going to rotate this shape by 90 degrees so that you have points sticking upwards. Then press A and select these three points right here and click and hold and extend your shape so now you have a long um, hexagon like that. Select the shape, press Alt and Shift, move to the side like that. Good. Now I'm going to narrow the shape by just pressing A, selecting these two points holding shift and just making this a bit more narrow like that. And I'm also going to press A and change these uh, the height of these points just slightly to make the crystal look a bit more natural like that. Good. Now we're going to press M. We're going to draw the sides, press A, snap it to this point, snap this point to here. I'm going to zoom in right here, bring this anchor in like that so you have kind of a straight line from here to there and then up here make sure that line is in line a bit higher something like that do the same thing on this side so again rectangle tool I'm just pressing M press a to select individual points like that and same deal you want it to be like that maybe a bit narrower than the other one roughly in line like that that's that's all right okay now we're going to draw the base it's quite a simple just press m and snap all the points to the points that are already existing like this and this bottom point right here this is going to be the bottom of your crystal like that we're going to press m and we're going to create a shape right here so select this point bring it to here this to here and this to right here, and this to right here. Now it might overlap like this. So we can fix that quite simply by pressing A, and just selecting these points and just moving them in slightly like that. Then I could select this point and bring it into here. Now, if you find that you have like lines that are sticking out of these points, like very jagged lines, I'll show you. Um, you can just go to stroke and if you if it looks something like this where you have these uh, sharp points sticking out just switch your corner to round join like that and that'll get rid of that quite simply to finish a shape pretty simple draw three rectangles right up here press a and snap them right here right here and this one same deal here to the bottom oh there and this point make it high and then snap this point to this point up here same deal and this will finish up the shape so ba -ba -bum. we have four points let's make sure they all snap together like that and that to that oops looks like I missed there I'm gonna press control Y or command Y just to see the wireframe then it's a bit easier to adjust okay get out of that now, if you want to adjust the shape, it's really simple. All you have to do is go to Command Y. Um, and this makes sure that you don't select the actual shapes of these. And just press A, select, and you can modify the shape as you wish. So just drag, make sure you have A selected, like that. Pretty simple. The reason why we're doing Command Y is because if you click in here, you see, ah, shit, you selected the shape. But we get rid of that. So now having done that, I'm going to show you a couple extra things that you can do to make your crystals stand out a bit more. Okay, so the first thing you can do is you can just shade one of these crystal faces. So I can select this face right here and I can give it a black color or kind of a dark color. Press OK. And I can apply the same to some other face over here, make it another dark gray. Apply some shading, it already makes it look a bit more unique and interesting. Now the other thing you can do is you can add small amounts of inclusions, and that's quite simple. We're going to go to our brushes tool right here, our paintbrush tool. 
Yeah, that's all right. And you can select from here, just a small shape. Yeah, three points round, that's okay. And you can start making little points just like this all over your shape, like that. So from afar, it looks like these small little inclusions. Now this brush is actually a bit too big. Can I change it on the size? Let's put it to one. Apply to strokes. That's a bit too big. Let's switch it to two. Apply to strokes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So you can just create these little inclusions and gradually wean them off. So there's only a couple right there. So from afar, it kind of looks like a little patchy blotted pattern. You can do this in other spots. So this is a common thing that you see actually in a lot of vectors, these little splotchy patterns, but be, feel free to do any kind of patterns that you want. Another thing you can do is you can add some shading by drawing some lines. So I'm going to press the line tool and just draw a line from here to here, kind of diagonally like that. Same stroke as those ones. Hold Alt and Shift, move it up just slightly, maybe up to here or something like that. And then press Control D. And I can hold Control D and it's getting a bit more narrow. Like that. And of course, if it's not a straight line, that's, an, that's more of an issue. So what we can do is either we can right click, arrange, bring to the front. Okay, that crops that. And on this one, we can press A, select this point and bring it out just slightly. There we go. We fixed that issue quite simply. So that adds an, another little added dimension. These little things that you can do on different sides of the faces and you'll get a different effect. It's pretty simple. So hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Pretty simple, how to make a crystal. Of course, experiment by different faces. It's really simple. Just draw your shape and then connect all the dots in between. We could add another face right here uh, by bringing this point in here and one, two, three, four, so four points, but it's up to you. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, check out our other videos, and of course, as always, have a great day.